Hello. So it's the 24th of December. It's Christmas Eve and now it's what? 12.15. And I'm going to head out the, on the road to get a few stuff to prepare something. To get some food items. So I'm going to see if I can get to show you guys what the street looks like on Christmas Eve. Um, while trying to be careful. <laughs> So, and I'll show you where I'll be going to get the stuff, so let's go. Okay, so now, on the road, the food store is still open. It's still a bit early, so a number of places will still be open. Here we have a food, people ordering food, maybe for tonight we have a pet store that's open. Um, this food, uh, the food shop, corner store. So, most places will be open until maybe about, what? until about maybe 4 o'clock, there about, but the streets won't be as busy as usual when it's like a normal day. Alright, so now, see, the store open, people doing their last minute shopping. Um, See, there are people on the street, but as I said, not as much. And if I should be on the street until like 4 p.m., trust me, this place, will be, this place will be empty. But I don't think I'll be here for that late. And also, I don't think it'll be safe to have my phone out. <laughs> I'm in the center, so it's not too bad, but you still have to be careful. <laughs> and another thing, is that you realize that the sun is out, people are in like sleeveless and short shorts and all that. It's because it's really hot. Like in Argentina, we'll never have a white Christmas. <laughs> so, so yeah, it's summer now actually. So it's always hot during um, Christmas time. So yeah, when I get to the when I take the bus, I have to walk like about five or six blocks. So when I get there, I'll show you guys. Here I am at the bus stop and here you have some numbers that tell you the buses that stop at this particular location. You have another one and you just have to wait until the bus comes. And you can also use an app. It's also actually also an app that you can use to know when the bus comes. but. Here on this street, the buses pass pretty frequently, so I don't necessarily check it sometimes. So yeah, I just have to wait on the bus, and I know more or less which bus stops where I'm going. So yeah. So when the bus comes, I'll show you guys what the bus system is like. It's coming the 122, and I have my bus card. So I'm gonna take it. So what you do, you just press it here. All right, so. I've gotten to the place where I'm going to buy my fruits and vegetables. I wanted to, to film it while I was on the bus, but I didn't get a window seat. But when I'm going back, I think I'll be going back in taxi, so I'll I'll try to show you then. But now we're we're going to buy fruits and vegetables. Normally this area is full, like full of life, and I'm going to show you. What Empty McDonald's. Not, McDonald's is normally air, very full. This park too normally has a lot of people, kids playing, especially now that it's summer. But it look, it's all empty. Right now, the only thing on everyone's agenda is just to get the final food items. Um, maybe get their last outfit or piece of outfit to get home. And... Uh, start preparing food and just you know organizing stuff for for tonight so maybe at about seven eight o'clock there are both families will start gathering and then after that like the street gets really empty <laughs> or even before that because by four or five o'clock it'll be completely complete loneliness So now let's go into 
the market. It's called Mercado del Patio. And it's it recently opened, maybe about three years ago. And I used to live close by, so I would come here all the time to get my my vegetables and fruits and all that. So guys, the thing with these places is that they're always playing music and because they don't want to be copyrighted, I had to like do a voiceover. So at the entrance of the store, you have like a little cafe area where you can get your pastry and your tea and coffee. Here's another store where you, I think they sell wine here. And in here we have a fruit store, a fruit and vegetable store. And I'll be coming here after to get some stuff. Then we move on to this area. This They sell meat in this store and people are getting their last minute things for dinner tonight. And also in this store they... Oh, this is a fish store that they didn't allow me to film. Yeah, so here I was basically just explaining that it didn't allow me to film in the store because I had like my tripod and all of that. So, but that's okay. I got fish to purchase. I purchased two types of fish. Um, one that's called merluza and another is called um, trichas, which is is similar to um, goat fish. And they all came up to about seven hundred pesos, and using the official rate, it would be about seven dollars. And then here you have an ice cream store. It's actually Italian. It's more of like gelato than ice cream, but it's really nice. It's my one of my favorites so far in the city. And then here you have just other little stores here and there selling little bits and pieces of items, mostly natural things. Here you have a store that sells fish. Then we move on to this store. You can also get meat here. And then there's another fruit and vegetable store. Um, and then there's an area that sells plants. And another store that sells, you, you know, little items like oil. Just maybe flour as well. And then this is a very, this is a wine store that sells only wine. And... This area sells chocolate, and then if you want all your baking supplies, you can get them at that store in the middle. And then here is an ATM, and oh, this store sells olive oil, I think. And yeah, so this is an area where people come to chill out a lot, especially on Sundays with their families. There's also a little play area for the children. I don't think I got to show that. And then I'll be going into this store that sells So they gave very me the go nice the phone unique the store items. That was very really nice of them. And this store, I really like it because it has a lot of unusual things that you don't normally find in Argentina. A lot of spices from all over the world. Mostly Asian products. And they also have a lot of healthy products. Here they have... Um, Mayonnaise made from beetroot, and I think also was is that carrot or something else? Okay, and here there's another one. This is um, a brand, Not Mayo. They also have other products called Not Burger, and they actually it doesn't taste too bad. Here is another season that is very popular in Argentina, but I've actually not used it before, and I think each of them costs like about ten US dollars there, about. Yes, yeah, so as I was saying that these spices are very popular and I've never tried them, but I hope to someday. Um, what are we doing now? What are we doing? I just wanted to say that in Argentina they use a lot of oregano and um, perihil. I'm not sure what it's called in English. <laughs> All right, so here we also we have a lot of canned items, tomato. Oh, here we have some um, what's that? Mackerel. Yeah, I didn't actually know that there was mackerel here, but I recently found that they're actually mackerel, and I've tried them, and they're not too bad. So, yeah, and the price I can see the price, but they're not very expensive. Maybe about one hundred and fifty pesos, which would be about eleven or twelve dollars. 
No, that would be one dollar. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, olive oil is very popular in Argentina. They also use a lot of coconut oil. And here we also have a lot of that's uh, mate. They use it a lot, and they also have a lot of fruit flavored teas, um, sweeteners, and they're also now getting used to using um, what's that called? Peanut butter. But it's not as good as the, the brands that you know from the States or maybe in Jamaica. This section in they have all the ramen, soup. Um, I think that's like bread and they also have like really healthy snacks. Those are made from beetroot and I think chickpea as well. And you will find that you can get these snacks in Argentina quite, um, they're pretty popular, different stores. And here you have some other um, seasonings. They also use a lot of mustard in, in Argentina. So you also see a lot of um, varieties of mustard, like honey mustard or spicy mustard. Here you have your pasta. I think there was also basmati rice on the shelf. And then in this section, we have some other Asian spices. I'm not sure what they're called, but they're very unique to, well, that one is katsu. And soy sauce as well is pretty popular because they have a pretty, a pretty, um, and they have a number of Asians living here, so it's good. Oh, sushi is also pretty popular in Argentina. A lot of restaurants will serve sushi, and you'll also have some Asian, um, specific themed restaurants here we have tofu which is also pretty popular wine they have their beer as usual never miss that out <laughs> and here i think maybe it's flour they were i was showing there and some other healthy snacks and uh, yes yeah, so i was saying before that in the in the in the fridge like they have like yogurt. Oh, here we have some rice. Different types of rice. Pavo oil, um, wheat rice, brown rice, <laughs> and yam, y yes, jasmine rice maybe, or yamani rice as well. And then what was I showing you here? Oh, rice. <laughs> yeah, some of them were very expensive, especially the basmati rice. I think I was talking about the prices here, but I can see them. But before I was talking about the fridge, um, that they sell tofu a lot here as well. And um, in the fridge, like, there were like different types of yogurt and all of that. I was talking more about the rice, but yeah. So bye-bye. Thank you. So here I was pretty much explaining that I was grateful that they allowed me to, to film in the store. And I bought the rice, um, a yogurt, and also a can of mackerel. And then I was always sharing that when I was coming out the store, I, I took up the man's food <laughs> by accident, thinking it was my stuff. But he was pretty cool about it, so it's not too bad. <laughs> so now um, I'll just show you this area. I think they sell maybe pizza and or pizza dough in that area and then I was just heading out of Mercado del Patio or just like Patio I think it's just like a little area and then Mercado is like a store so here I was just explaining that I realized that you know when people see you with like an extra equipment like a tripod they tend to be very insecure about you filming in the store and you know, people just want privacy and that's okay. So I realized that if I just have my phone, then it won't be such a, a big deal. Um, so yeah, I had gone into a cheese store and I bought cheese. And then I think I went to 
a store that we call La Dietetica, which is like a store that sells like healthy stuff. You can get your grains and your natural seasonings there. And I also bought a burger called Not Burger, but this one was the chicken one. I have had the beef one before, it wasn't too bad. And I must say I'm doing this video after I made, I ate the chicken, the not chicken burger. And it wasn't as good as the beef one. So, <laughs> so yeah, so everything in that store I think came up to 1,200 um, pesos, which would be about 12 US dollars. So guys, now I'm on the bus. It's now um, 1.30. And places are starting to close, people are starting to go home. I'm just gonna show you the bus ride from here home. What the streets look like, and today is Friday, so you know, on Fridays, places are normally very busy, especially here. So, let's go.
now that we're getting to Aronio. Argentina normally um, wears during midday for siesta, but more, a lot of the big stores wouldn't necessarily go on siesta, and you will still see a lot of people walking on the road. So, holiday in such a beautiful hotel. Should have checked in there for the Christmas. <laughs> with what money, per se, with what money. Okay, so I guess you guys have gotten the idea that we're in the center center, which is normally very busy. Drop off my stuff and to go up on the road to get some peppers because I need to get some peppers. Alright, so 